Hey everyone, this is Radio at Offroad Power Products, and today we're talking about some of our favorite gear for cooking, the Tempo Task. Here at Offroad Power Products, we love to go outdoors, and part of going outdoors is cooking food. Uh, we love to use our Tempo Task Scottle to prepare meals for us and our family. So if you aren't familiar with the Scottle, it is a uh, kind of like a wok. So it, it stands on legs, has a burner, and you can fry things up, grill things, cook them. Um, obviously, there's a handful of accessories that go along with it as well to prepare uh, all sorts of different kinds of foods. But in its most basic sense, it's kind of like a grill. So what we're going to get into today is just talking about this, kind of in its most basic form. Like whenever you open out of the box, this is what you're going to see. How do you put it together? How do you use it? And maybe some ideas for it as well. When you receive your scottle, um, there's going to be a handful of items included in it. You're going to have the bag for the legs, the bag for the scottle, and all these components in there as well. All these will fit in between those two bags. So uh, in the bags, you actually have your scottle grill top, the three legs, your burner holder, the burner itself, two bolts for attaching the burner holder to the scottle, and an adapter for isobutane to propane. But we'll get into that here in a little bit. Three other little items are gonna be these eye bolts that help uh, retain the legs in place. So assembly of your Tembo scottle is actually pretty straightforward. So it's just a handful of pieces. Um, I'll walk you through it real quick. So we've got our burner first. We'll slide this into the cage. Um, if you're gonna use a one pound propane bottle, go ahead and attach the adapter now. And that just screws on. Uh, you don't have to use a one pound bottle, you can use isobutane, but we found that propane is just a lot more accessible. Um, we've all got propane tanks at home if we need a refill, so we opt to stick with the adapter. So once uh, your burner is in place, take this retainer, you'll slide it in from the backside, kind of over top the cage, and set it on top. Now there's two slots right here that line up with two holes on the cage. That's for threading in these two eye bolts. So what you do is take your eye bolt, eye bolt screw it through the retainer into the cage uh, just until it pokes through on the uh, back side of the cage. You feel for it right there. And then uh, squirrel on down your nut and do that on the other side. Now one thing to pay attention to is going to be the orientation of the burner. So before I cinch everything down, I didn't set this up right. We actually want to have the knob face outward so then that way you can actually grab it and ignite it. So now that we have everything positioned well, tighten it down on both sides. And you're good to go. Once you have your burner installed, um, from there it's just put everything else on it. There's only a couple more items. So first let's put on our propane bottle and just get that out of the way. From there we've got our three tension screws, one for each leg and simply just slide it in and tighten until you have tension. Once everything's assembled, you're ready to cook. So right now we've got the legs in the lowest setting, but again, we can extend those out. We'll show you that here in a minute. Um, you do have your burner right here, so simple turn on, turn off. If you press it, uh, the burner actually has a piezo ignition uh, lighter in there. So give that a couple clicks. Once the gas is on, boom, you're ready to cook. Tembo does offer a handful of different accessories to kind of help make your cooking experience a little bit better. Um, a couple that they do offer is you have a steam tray. So set the guy up, put some vegetables up there or whatnot, and a little bit of water underneath. And uh, to really keep that steaming going, use a lid now for that as well. And you can steam whatever you want at this point. So um, great combination, real easy to use. Um, one of our other uh, favorite accessories just came out not too long ago is the leg table. So uh, it simply attaches um, this hole right here, slide it through one of the legs, and there is a rubber O-ring you keep on here just to kind of keep it whenever there's no weight on it from sliding around. But uh, this table will actually hold up to about 25 pounds, um, just purely through tension. So um, we'll show you that here right now. To attach your table, uh, simply just undo one of the thumb screws for the legs, pull out the leg, slide the table uh, down the center hole on the leg, uh, insert the leg back into the scuttle, tighten down your thumb screw, and you're good to go. Uh, the table ultimately will stay anywhere on the leg. Um, it's just held there by tension. 
and give a little push. You can see right there. Um, but it, just a little lift up and she can be repositioned. Now, you see down here, we do have an O-ring just kind of as a, a, a safety stop, if you will, temporary stop. Uh, so then that way it's right there. But no, I mean, it, it really does hold up. You can see, giving a good push. And it's not going anywhere. So that'd be perfect for, you know, your, your spatulas, your tongs, your spices, your uh, cold beverage, if you will. Um, it'll keep all of there in place. So with that, that is uh, our Scottle assembly. So you're ready to cook, go out, cook a nominal feast for yourself and your friends and family. So from there, disassembly is pretty straightforward. Uh, just take it all apart, put it back in the bag. A uh, couple tips for you, the burner itself and the retaining ring, all that can actually stay attached to the cage on the bottom of the Scottle dish. So uh, if you really need to get into a slim form factor, you can choose to disassemble it, but it will all go back into the bag fully assembled, uh, obviously minus the propane bottle. Uh, a couple other tips we have with the burner is the burner actually has little legs on it. So most folks choose to have those legs folded in and that helps get the burner as close as possible to the scottle and uh, just helps things heat up a little bit more quickly. Ultimately, you can put them in any cooking position, but if you want to cook quickly, have them folded in. For cleaning, again, you've already started disassembling. I like pouring a little water onto the top uh, while it's still a little warm just to help kind of break down whatever's left on top. And then once it's uh, cool to the touch, go through with a rag and just kind of wipe everything off. If you still need to clean it a little bit more, uh, throw some salt on there and rug it down with that, uh, rub it down with that wet rag and uh, that should cut out any of the grime. So from there again, just to throw everything back into the bag, uh, including your bottle if you want, and you'll be good to go. I hope you guys enjoyed the video today. If you have any other questions about the Timbo Test Scottle and its accessories or cooking in the outdoors, feel free to give us a call or reach out to us at offroadpowerproducts.com.